What is up, YouTube? The Tidy Brighty here, back for episode, I believe, 34? 34, yeah, of the Final Fantasy VII walkthrough. So, here, here we are in the northern continent, in the village of the Bone Village, should I say. And, uh, yeah, it's basically an excavating town. And you can ask this guy just for any, uh, you know, information you want. Yep, so she went into the sleeping forest, which is where Cloud saw her in his dream. And yeah, he just says, says like, I don't know, excavating stuff. So yeah, we're gonna have to find the Lunar Harp to actually go on with the story. So I'm just gonna select Lunar Harp and let's get going. So put it in these positions and you should be fine. Just give me a sec, I'm trying to climb this ladder. Come on, there we go. And I do apologize in advance for any sniffing, coughing, or whatever you hear due to my sickness. Alright, so order one here. Order one around here. And order one around here. Alright, this is the big point. And just select it here. And you should get the lunar harp. Alright, so we got the lunar harp. And we're ready to move on. I'm gonna just quickly go save. Because this part can be kind of annoying. Alright, and let's go back in. <laughs> and let's go through the sleeping forest. And this is where we saw Eris in her dream. And for here, <laughs> be on the lookout. There's a um, materia that you can get. A summon material, I think Kawaja or something is his name, as you can see it's moving here. I almost got it, but I missed it this time. Just be on the lookout, I see it. What the heck, why can't I grab it? Come on. I saw it somewhere here. This may take a few attempts, guys. Oh, I see it. What? I touched it and pressed enter. This is BS. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, missed it. Oh my god, sorry about this, guys. Normally it's not this hard. My keyboard's just not responding to me. Even though I went up to it and pressed enter, it still didn't collect it for me for some reason. There it is, there it is. Oh, what? Ugh, freaking rock blocked the way. Yeah, this may take a few tries, guys. Just give me a second. Got you, son of a bitch. Alright, now let's get going. I know we just got Bahumit, but I guess we'll give Ko Kujara then. Give him Bahumit. And Odin should be fine on it. Alright, now we have all very awesome summons. Alright, this, by the way, is a good training place if you want. And I'm pretty sure... Oh, the water ring you will need later on when you fight Jenova at the end of disc 1, as all his moves are water-based, so that means even if all your characters die, well, even if he does a lot of damage, only two of your characters will die, because he will keep healing one of the characters. So yeah, you, I'm pretty sure you can learn Aqua uh, Lung from this guy and also from Jenova. So if you haven't learned it yet, learn it from them now. <laughs> Just gonna cure myself. Let's get going. And we are now almost at the City of the Ancients. Alright, now we're outside. 
before we go in, I recommend that you use anything you need to heal up as much as you can and save. Alright, that's good. And now we are in the city of the ancients. And we are approaching the end of this one. Actually, before we go to this side, let's head to this side first. And collect a few stuff. Uh, for some reason, it's not letting me go in. Come on, there we go. There's another save point here if you want. So collect the treasure. There's a magic source, I'll use it on cloud. And save. We are now in the forgotten capital. There's nothing else in here, so let's move on. <clears throat> Alright, there's some items that you can collect here. There's a treasure chest that you can get. As or or, or la, 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 armlet. I'm pretty sure it's pretty good, so we'll give it to Sid. Oh, very good. In fact, I might actually give that to Cloud. The only problem is that it has less slots. Uh, we'll just give that to Sid there. Whatever. Alright, he's good. Alright, so let's head back. Let's go to the other side now. Luckily, there are no enemy encounters within the city, so it's a lot less annoying. <laughs> we'll go here, collect any items we need. We obtain a guard source here. Make sure to pick up the enemy skill material here, as you can come back and pick it up later, but it's much better if you come and pick it up now. And don't be an idiot and miss the first enemy skill like I did. Normally shouldn't have been able to miss it, but like I said, I was just an idiot. Alright, so just rest up here to progress on with the story. <laughs> Alright, and if you go here, you'll find the third enemy skill materia. I'll give it to. Hmm. I guess we don't need more for now. Give it to Barret for now. We would have had three, but like I said, I missed the first one. So the fourth one you can get from the Chocobo Sage, and we can learn trying, luckily from Godo from Yuffie's Pokaganda so until you get your three do not do Yuffie's trials alright okay now let's go back down let's see if there's anything else nope and let's go find Eris <coughs> well that was quick <laughs> uh, let me just check if there's no I remember there's nothing down that path and that path is for later Alright. So there are no more items to collect. And we end toward the end. Ah, what am I saying? 
and we are getting ever closer to the end of disc one. And we hear Eris' voice and decide to follow it. This is the infamous place that most Final Fantasy fans should know about. But in case for any new ones playing 7, I will not spoil it. And for this, go all the way to the top before you enter the stairs. You get a very powerful materia, magic materia, Comet. Which is probably one of the strongest attack ones, so I'm going to put that on Cloud. And give... Gravity someone else. We don't need steel. I'll give gravity. No, not gravity. Earth. Yeah. Alright. <coughs> My bad, guys. Alright. Now we're all set. Let's get down. Go down these heavenly looking stairs. We are getting ever closer to the end of this one. Alright, so I recommend just healing up here. And if you want, you can save on a different place for the end of this one. Alright, and we're good. This is the end of this one, so you can just go back, right? Now here we go, towards Eris. And we decide to move on forward. Fun fancy controls. Then we find Eris just sitting here, praying. And Cloud seems to be possessed. Alright, guys, I won't say anything for the next cutscene, as uh, it is a very important and famous cutscene. I don't want to ruin it for any of you guys, so I'll be back.
And that was the infamous Eris' death scene. It's very tragic, one of the saddest and most memorable moments of those times. Alright, so we learned the enemy skill Aqua Lung for Barret, and we're just gonna use Big Guard real quick. And we're gonna use Anger Max on him. And let's try out some of the summons, why not? Not bad, not bad at all. Uh oh. Oh my bad guys. Here we get to use the common. Very strong magic, it just did more damage than Odin. I should have actually used White Wind. White Wind is much better than uh, Cure 2. But whatever, too late now, right? Then let's try Kujata. Wow, that was a lot of damage. And of course, I just heal Sid. Uses all elements against them. And he's dead. And that, my friends, is the end of disc one. I must comment on one thing though, I wonder how the water suddenly got so deep since, you know, Cloud was standing in it and suddenly now Eris is going down. I think that was a mistake they made in the game, but yeah. That is the end of disc one.
Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll make sure to upload the next video shortly. And uh, I thank you for watching so far. And uh, in the next part, we'll be continuing on to the Great Glacier, which in my opinion is one of the most annoying parts of the game. But other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon, guys. Peace.